Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lexi and I give you small business tips to help grow your small business. So today I'm going to be talking about my label printer. Why I choose to use a label printer over a like at home printer, whether that's like a HP printer or something like that, a Dell printer. The reason why I use a label printer is because one, it's actually a lot faster. I can mass print out my labels really, really fast. Also, it does not take any ink, and after you buy the printer, all you need to buy is just more paper, and that's it. If you aren't sure what even a label printer is versus a home printer, in simple terms, basically what this does is it uses like heat and a laser to print out your labels versus ink, because your at-home printer uses ink, um, and I'm going to show you guys mine. This is the one that I use that I can recommend, but overall, I just know a lot of small business owners use a label printer versus a at home printer and it's fairly, fairly easy. So the one I've talked about, I will leave it linked down below if you guys would just rather skip to that portion and just get into it yourself. Or if you would like me to talk through this product, that's what I'm going to do. This is just the one that I have that I've been using. I've been using it for about a year now and I absolutely love it. I do not use my ink printer at all. It's super easy to figure out. It's not hard at all and I really, really like it. So mine is actually a knockoff of a very more expensive, bougie type of printer. So if you're like, this is still expensive, label printers are, aren't super cheap. They're around... Um, hundred dollars on the low end so they aren't super super cheap but definitely an investment because you're gonna get your money back like I said you don't have to buy ink so this one is mine and it is like I said a knockoff it doesn't really have a name um, I believe it's like Chinese so I will leave it linked down below but I bought it from Amazon and it's super thin and like small it's not it doesn't even take up a lot of space which like a home printer can take up a lot of space now yes it does less than a, like a at home printer you can't make copies you can print out your shipping um packaging slips with this as well but it's pretty easy so this is what mine looks like the paper comes out here um this open button there's an open button here to open up the printer on the inside there's a button here when you uh, a light here when you plug it in green means it's good red means that there's like a problem or it doesn't have paper or something really really easy and it has the cords down here in the back so for this one specifically you need a usb outlet on your computer and a um, outlet so it's not this one's not wireless or bluetooth or anything you need to have a usb port into your computer to use this label printer now the paper that it comes with, it comes with a few sheets, but you definitely have to buy more. Um, I So there's definitely, there's multiple types of paper um, for this thing. You can either get them like in a roll and then it like, it can like roll and feed the paper in, in like, it's like literally like a toilet paper roll and feeds it into the label printer or mine. This is, I believe called a fan fold. It's like this. And I like this a lot better. I started out with the roll and I hated it. It kind of ends up making your papers kind of like your labels kind of curly and I hated that. This one makes them nice and flat, which I like. I um, This is just how I do it. So I will show you guys step by step like how I actually, if you want to see how it's used. I just recommend that you pay attention to this. If your label printer is not working, make sure that the sticker side is up so like you'll see that the back of this sticker is literally like a back of a sticker it cannot print on here make sure you have the paper side up i've done that multiple times where i'm like nothing's printing out what's happening make sure the paper side is up so what you're going to do is just take the end paper side up and you can do one of two things here you can and this is what i do you, you literally just like feed it in. When it's plugged in, there's a sensor in there when it feels that it has paper in there and then it'll like suck it in and then you're good to go. Or you can literally lift the tab up and then put your paper in and place it up here at the top if you'd like. But it's super easy, super convenient. Like I love it. I'm gonna take you guys to my dining room, but just so you know, 
We just got a fish, so please excuse the water noise in the background. If it bothers you, let me know, and I will continue to film in here and not in the front with the fish. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so I have my laptop over here. So all I did only was just plug it in. That's why it's blinking red. Um, as you guys can see and that's because it's not plugged into the computer and there's no paper so it's like not getting any information to do its job so first I'm going to plug in the USB port to my laptop computer let me turn this around so you guys can see so I have my fan paper and make sure my paper side is up and I'm just going to feed it in and you guys are going to see what it does all on its own. So I'm just going to gently, well, you just want to make sure that these two little tabs, you can pull and push them. You just want to make sure that they're the right size of your paper. So mine is because I've already set it up. So I'm just going to push it through. And it's ready to go. Okay, so I'm gonna print a shipping label. Let me, I'm gonna print a few so you can kind of see how it works. So you can see it can just print multiple labels all at the same time. Like this is my baby. I cannot do anything without it. I love it. I highly highly recommend if you guys would like to check it out or just check out a label printer in general i will leave a link down below subscribe for more videos so you don't miss out on anything else because i will be dropping more tips and tricks for your small business at home so i'll see you guys in the next video bye <laughs> so all i'm gonna do is click print on my computer it's going to send it to my label printer and and it's that easy. Now I have the label. I'm going to peel it off and literally stick it on here. And that is how you create shipping labels using Shopify. Super, super easy. It's not as complicated as people might think. It's pretty, pretty simple. So I'm going to peel that off and then just continue to fill the rest of my orders. Peels right off. I throw this part away. And then stick this. And I stick this right in the middle of my package and it's good to go. Some things you want to worry about is make sure that wherever the bar code is, it's flat. That's like the most important thing. If you guys are not using a label printer, you're using your at-home printer, I highly recommend if you are going to tape, do not tape the tracking number and the scanning. If you're going to just put packing tape over the label, print, the, the label, just do not cover the barcode. And make sure the barcode is flat, it's not bumpy, it's not ripped. So they can scan it easy. So boom, that's how you create shipping labels. It's super, super easy, especially if you use Shopify.